Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Let's build a liquid glass Apple iOS icon. So let's jump over to the computer now. We're on the computer, as you can see. So I've got Icon Composer here. If you haven't got it here, if you go into Xcode Beta and then you go down to Open Developer Tools, you'll see that you've got the Icon Composer. We'll just open that up. Very simple. New document. It's like this. It's actually really, really simple. And let's get to it. So you could pick a background, whether you want to see it with a background or whatever. You can choose what you want the default to look like. So let's go with a say gradient and let's not go with blue. Let's go with say red to, I don't know, green. That looks shit, but let's go with it. I think that's what we want to do. You can't adjust the gradient for some reason. You can't like say how much the gradient, let's go with some predefined colors. Maybe this will look better. There we go. Let's turn that to black. So there you go. There's our app icon. So that's the background, essentially. That's the background of what people will see. And you can try it out on different versions and stuff like that. That's what gets changed. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use SF symbols to just get a symbol or two to layer it up. Um, I just created this one over here, this message bubble. It actually looks quite nice. Let's go, I don't know, um, file. No. I don't know, I don't know what I want. Um, weather icon, let's go with like a sun. Let's just do this, let's just do this sun min. Save this as an app icon. I saved it as a PNG 50 points copy image. I just saved it to the desktop. And then I just dragged it from the desktop straight into here and it's there. And instantly you have created something. Of course you can layer more spheres and stuff like that. What I couldn't work out how to do, not saying it's not possible, was I couldn't work out how to resize this. It appears to be a fixed size. Oh, no, here you go. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Um, you can rotate it using this. Oh, no, that rotates the glass, the gloss. This rotates the... That. What is this? this? This is interesting. You're sort of like moving your fingers around to adjust these values. You sort of click on it and drag, which I think is quite clever. Let's go with that. Let's make sure it's centered. Um, you could choose the blend mode. I don't think this make any difference. Um, you could choose the color as well. If you want it to be a solid color, something like that, or if you want it to be a gradient, which this is all pretty cool. There you go. We'll go with that as our icon. You can view it in all of the different modes. It would be nice if you could see all three modes at once. I think they should have some way of importing SF symbols directly, and it would just save you the time, because this actually looks pretty cool. And you could sort of rotate it around to see how the glass glossy looks going to go. You could zoom right in. What's this all about? Oh, that's what you want. Um, blah, blah, blah. Um, you could then save this. Saving it is just saving this compact file format. So we're just going to call this test. And this is just saved to the desktop. Um, can I find that in here? Let's go into the desktop. It's just saved it. What's the package content? It's just got assets and it's just got whatever. It's got a JSON file. Is this literally all it is? Is it just a JSON structure? It's just a JSON structure. So actually computer generating this might be quite simple or editing it, if you know what I mean. That'd be hacked too, won't it? Um, but you could just export. You just go up to here to go file, export. You could choose what you want. When you want iOS, appearance, default, dark. You might want all variants. I'm not sure how you import this into iOS. I just exported this as being a, a 1x file and then just straight just copy and paste it in. I could show you that in my chat application. And um, where's it gone? It's here. There you go. And I got my icons and they look great. I should have probably put any appearance dark and tinted, but I didn't bother. I just did the one. But here you go, that's pretty simple. I just thought I'd show you that because I know people are being interested. And that's how you create these new glossy looks. You can kind of see where it's coming from. It's very cool. See you in the next one. More videos to come.